This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. I just want to encourage someone that the Lord is saying this is offering season. But in order for you to get what he's offering to you, you have to be willing to leave where you currently are. And so I want you to pray on it before the Lord. If you must ask him for a sign or do whatever you need to do, ask him for an open mind. Because sometimes we get so used to where we are. Sometimes we set plans for permanency, but God never intended for things to be permanent. It was just a lily pad. It was just a lily pad. It was just a baby step. It was just um, on the way to where you were going. There was something that you either needed to deposit there or to plant there or to receive from there before you got to where you was going. It was just a pit stop. And so, um, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this day, Father. I thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. I thank you that you go before us, Lord, and you prepare the way for us, Father God. I thank you that you know the plans that you have for us, Lord, plans of good and not of evil, Lord. Lord, I just pray right now that you will open up our minds and open up our hearts, Father God, that you will help us to deny ourselves, Lord, to take up our cross daily, Lord, and to follow you, Father God. Help us to pray, to be bold and courageous enough to pray. Let not my will be done, Lord, but let your will be done. Help us to trust in you, Lord. Help us to trust in you, Father God. Help us to know nothing but Jesus Christ, oh God. Help us to know nothing but Jesus Christ, oh God. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for choosing us. We thank you for calling us, Lord. We thank you for justifying us, Father God. We thank you for foreknowing us, Lord, for predestining us to be transformed into the image of your son, Father God. And we thank you that you've given us everything that we need for every good work that you've called us unto, Lord. We thank you for this offering season. We thank you that giants do fall. We thank you that you're raising up a standard, oh God. And we thank you that you're delivering us into our assignments, oh God. We thank you that you're a good father. We thank you that your mercy is everlasting, oh God. And we thank you, Lord, that you know how to communicate with us, Lord. You know how to get our attention. You know how to send messengers. You know how to give visions and dreams. So we thank you that you are faithful to give us a readiness of mind to serve you where you're calling us to serve you, oh God. That is not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your spirit. That is not our own purpose to which we are called to, but your word says that you cause all things to work together for good, for them that love you, the called according to your purpose, oh God. So help us to diligently seek out your purpose, Father God, your plans. Help us to hold fast to your promises, oh God. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed.